Today's presentation is about heel spur syndrome. Pain in the heel is a very common complaint by people of all ages. It is mostly caused by heel spur syndrome which is also known as plantar fasciitis. It is a chronic condition that results in debilitating pain in the heel or arch of the foot. In the figure you can see the most frequent site of pain is the middle of the heel and in some cases it may occur in the arch of foot. Risk factors for heel spurs include gait abnormalities causing excessive strain on the heel bone, ligaments and nerves around the heel, excessive running or jogging during athletic activities, especially on hard surfaces, poorly fitted shoes and high heels, especially those without proper arch support, obesity, aging due to reduced flexibility of the plantar fascia, diabetes, prolonged standing and congenital abnormalities like flat feet or high arches. Patients with plantar fasciitis or heel spurs usually present with pain in the bottom of the heel. It is usually worse after rest, especially in the morning while getting out of bed. The underlying cause is tightness of the plantar fascia or the ligament on the bottom of the foot. The ligament tightens up when we are off our feet. When we stand, the fascia is put under tension and if the flexibility is reduced, it will pull on the heel bone where it attaches. This produces inflammation and causes severe pain. It may in due course tear the ligament. Due to the constant stress on the heel bone, formation of new bone takes place in the shape of a spur at the bottom of the heel. It is the tight ligament that causes the pain rather than the newly formed spur and this may affect the patient's activity levels significantly because of difficulty in walking. Conservative treatment include stretching, arch support and anti-inflammatory medicine. Stretching is performed by keeping the knee straight and pulling the foot back toward the leg. Arch support by using proper insoles helps in preventing excessive pull of the ligament on the heel bone. Besides oral anti-inflammatory drugs, steroid injections are very helpful for immediate pain relief. In cases of partially torn and or degenerated fascia, amniotic fluid injections may be recommended by some podiatrists, which is a potent anti-inflammatory agent to promote healing. Platelet-rich plasma therapy and stem cell injections are other options that may be applied but are found to be less effective than amniotic fluid. Surgery is indicated in cases of plantar fasciitis where conservative treatment fails. Endoscopic plantar fasciotomy or EPF is the most effective procedure for treating heel spur. This percutaneous procedure is minimally invasive performed as daycare surgery under anesthesia. The ligament is released to release the tension on the bone. Open surgery with large incisions is recommended by some podiatrists to remove the heel spur and release the fascia. Differential diagnosis include tarsal tunnel syndrome and medial calcaneal nerve entrapment, calcaneal stress fracture, Heglund's deformity or retrocalcaneal exostosis, calcified insertional Achilles tendonitis. All these should be ruled out in cases of persistent heel pain by other radiological techniques. Thank you for listening. If you like the video, make sure to drop a like. Let me know if you have any suggestions in the comments below.